All right, folks, time for another how to video where this possibly could be how to fail. So, we've got this very underwhelming HP 290 Slim, or whatever the exact uh, title of it is. And uh, this thing had a Celeron G4900 HN chip in it. And basically, what we want to do is put our brand new i3-9100 into it and uh, see if we can't make this into a uh, much better uh, computer. On top of that, we also uh, just wanted to find out, hey, are these 9 Gen compatible? So that's where we're going with this. And I'm also doing this so you don't have to uh, be the first one to figure it out if it works. Um, you will know from this video. Now, I did nothing to update the BIOS beforehand, so we're going into this unlike uh, some of the other ones where I actually have updated the BIOS. Um, hopefully, you guys can figure out how to get the cover off. I'm just going to really go right into trying to get this thing done. Now, there is an easier way to do this, which is to remove this out of here, but uh, I think I don't always like to do everything the easy way. And if you saw my other video, I was a lot more gentle, but the wife is actually making me waffles right now, and I would much rather have waffles and do this upgrade. But for you guys, I am going to suffer. So, let me pause this a second so I can move the camera to get in there. All right, so um, just so you know, if you pop this, that'll make some clearance to get this end of it out, which uh, since I haven't done this in a while, I've somewhat forgotten. All right, so, these are, uh, looks like Torx, so we're not going to be able to use a Phillips. We're going to have to change hardware. I believe this is a uh, T, T15, somewhere between T10, T15, T20. I usually do not work this fast or this curiously, but I, like I said, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. So we're just going around in circles, maybe not around in circles, but going diagonally, loosening these up. A lot of the manufacturers suggest that you not um, completely loosen one before you go on to the next. All right, so disconnect the CPU fan right there, which of course, is in there All right. so we're going to clean that off and then I've already popped the Celeron out of here all right so on our chip we're looking for the triangle gold triangle right there we're going to line that up with this end which is a uh, almost like indented in it engraved and there are tools to do this a little more safely than I'm doing it right now, but you want to make sure that's in there right. Because when this guy comes down, you can wreck your CPU and make sure that the very top there goes uh, under the screw. And then, voila. So now we're going to get the thermal paste out. Put a little dab of that on there. And in the center, not off to the side. That wasn't really a good job I just did there. All right, so CPU fan is all cleaned up. We're gonna put it back in place. And I'll tell you, I'm actually kind of excited if this works because uh, 
that actually makes this thing these are pretty cheap to buy on uh, eBay um, throw hundred dollars at it replace the Celeron with a uh, i390 100 which uh, actually is more expensive than this computer is uh, used I don't know what these go for near though I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here for now Just get it out of the way and that's in all right folks we are uh, moments away Now hopefully this Dell will allow me to boot it up with the case open. So I'm just going to jump right to it. Plug in our HDMI cable. And we need a power cable. Alright. The moment of truth. Let's see if we can get this so you can see the monitor the background slide that over a little bit and and of course we didn't put ram in first forgot i took that out so we gotta put the ram in first all right so take five so we had to do a little troubleshooting but I promise you there is still a 9th Gen i3 9100 in there. We did uh, find a hard drive that would work. Got RAM in it. And now for the moment of truth. And as we can tell once again, the i3 9100 is... Uh, definitely somewhat compatible with the HP NV. Or this is an action HP NV, the HP 290 Slim. How well it will perform, though, is another story. All right, so we're uh, we're booting up into Windows, and uh, this is uh, taking a little while but it looks like it's gonna work. All right, so it did boot to Windows and I'm gonna log in. Hopefully we're gonna log in. All right, so we're uh, gonna log into Windows and All right, so we're in Windows, and you can see, um, obviously, the resolution is not set up for the monitor, but it is, uh, it does work, albeit a little sluggish. All right, just so you can see it inside of system information and there is the HP Slimline 290 with a Intel Core i3-9100 CPU. So it does work. Um, this hard drive doesn't have all the HP drivers on it so I've got to go back and update that but uh, should get it running smoothly. I will comment down below if I have any additional problems but uh, I would say uh, it is compatible and will work. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.